He created the plan, but now it is in the hands of lawmakers, and Superintendent Tom Luna warns if it is not adopted, things will get much worse. Good evening. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. Superintendent Tom Luna was back before the Senate Education Committee this week, bringing with him three revised bills. Those bills, he says, take into account things he learned from weeks of public testimony and criticism of his education reform plan. Still, some lawmakers and teachers say the reform undermines teacher contracts and could impact student achievement. Political reporter Aaron Kuhn spoke with the superintendent this morning to see what has changed in the revisions and also what the alternative is should his reform plan fail. Yeah, good evening. Well, the lawmakers have in their hands those three bills which they will ultimately have to decide whether or not they're good or right for the state of Idaho. But this week, we have seen some revisions to that reform plan. I spoke with Superintendent Tom Luna today about what's in those changes and about the what-ifs. Education has seen less money. In the past three years, they have used stabilization funds to make up the difference. But now, that money is gone. The governor and I are determined that we are not going to continue to cannibalize the current system. We're going to change this system so that we can uh, educate more students at a higher level with limited resources. The current system can't do that, and this plan we put forward can. The superintendent unveiled his plan at the start of the legislative session, one that has come under fire by parents, students, and teachers' unions. One issue, the loss of tenure for all newly hired teachers then we're going to give you a two-year contract. And that means that uh, after the first year, the district can add a second year, so you, you can continually work under a two-year rolling contract. We think that, uh, again, hearing from school boards, that they need that kind of flexibility in order to better manage their workforce. Parents have had trouble with the one-for-one -one laptop program, worried about the teens who receive them and the online content they would have when not at school. It was never the intention that students would take these, uh, these, these laptops home and have you know, unfiltered access to whatever they chose. In fact, Luna has since used the term digital devices, knowing it wouldn't always be a laptop but could indicate an iPad or something similar. Luna says if his plan or one similar to it isn't approved, Idaho students, teachers, and parents will be the ones who pay the price. The only thing left is what you've seen school districts do. Some have already cut 15 days off the school calendar. Uh, you're going to see more days cut off the school calendar. You're going to see uh, more drastic cuts to teacher pay, to teacher benefits. That's the only thing left to cut in the budget. I did ask the superintendent about that American Falls high school student who wanted to challenge him to a debate. The superintendent says they did contact that high schooler and have actually requested to see his proposal and may actually meet him within the next couple of weeks. Back to you. All right, Aaron, thank you. So for now, Luna's plan is out of his hands. It's up to the legislature to decide what is best for Idaho.